Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. In this video I show you seven ways to create some interesting patterned paper for your journal or your craft projects just by dyeing it with coffee. So let's get into it. But first let's grab a coffee to drink while crafting. Now on to the stuff we need for today's DIY. All we need you probably have at home. Obviously we will need some instant coffee, a jar or a mug with some hot water. We will need a little bowl, a big paintbrush, some woolen string and obviously some white paper as our base. The first step has to be to mix the coffee. I made sure to create an extra dark concentrated mixture. Let's start with an old classic when it comes to coffee patterns on paper by setting our glass or mug into the coffee in the little bowl and then placing it on to the paper for these ring-shaped coffee mug stains. Next is another classic, creating a splatter pattern by dropping the coffee onto the page with a spoon or the paintbrush. Now on to two ways to use the woolen string dipped in coffee to create some more unusual patterns. For the first one, use the string and place it in a grid pattern onto the paper. Then press down another paper on top of it to create this lovely grid pattern on the page. For the second way, first you have to fold over the page, then place the string between the pages and press the paper down by pull while pulling the string out. For this technique I would recommend using a bit of a thicker paper than I did here. I think it would have improved the coffee string pattern. For the fifth pattern in this video, we will create a brush stroke pattern with the big paintbrush. Make sure it isn't too wet or you would lose some of the nice texture. If you want to get 10 more ideas on how to create some interesting patterns with coffee, check out my other video on coffee dyed pattern paper. I will leave a link in the description down below. Next we create a striped pattern by letting the coffee run from one side of the page down to the other. And our final coffee paper for today is creating a watercolor like effect by watering the paper before dropping the coffee onto it and let it spread and mix with the water to create a cool gradient effect.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found some inspiration on how to create some nice paper for yourself to incorporate into your journal or craft project. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would make me really happy. And I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. And if you want to join me on my creative journey for more cool craft projects and journaling and paper craft ideas, hit the subscribe button down below.